video has been created by Kapow Software to demonstrate a bi-directional integration between Google Plus and Salesforce's chatter platforms. One of the striking things about this bi-directional integration in this case is that as of the time of this recording, Google Plus has no APIs. In general, Kapow Software can help you perform integrations such as these whether or not APIs exist in either the source and or target system. If you look at further at traditional integration solutions and how they compare to the Kapow Catalyst solution, traditional solutions involve often coding into a black box where you know software code has been written but you don't really have any control over that. So if you need any customizations to your integration or have customizations to your source and or target systems, you're going to pay a pre pretty heavy services price to de dive into this black box and to change it. Typically also traditional integration solutions require that APIs exist, so integration with a platform such as Google Plus would be impossible. The Kapow integration solution by contrast has no coding, there is no black box, and in general it's independent of whether or not APIs exist in the source and or target systems. So Kapow software allows you to facilitate these sort of integration tasks in this way by letting you create these automated processes that we call robots. And what you're looking at right now is Design Studio, the place where you can create and edit these robots. Up here at the top where my mouse is moving now, you can think of as a flowchart that robots mostly follow from left to right. And in building these flowcharts, robots can interact with a variety of data sources, allow you to transform the data in any way that you want, and then put the data into a variety of destinations. And as you're building the robot, literally you'll see the data, whether or not you're dealing with a web interface or a JSON in this case, you'll see the data come into your browser view here in the middle in real time. So for example, this step that I just highlighted using my mouse up here in green, is calling a Salesforce REST API to get an OAuth token. And the robot is taking his input to do this, uh, things like my Salesforce username and password, as well as my various client secret keys and security tokens, as well as a client ID. And then what this is is JSON returning in the, in the browser view, which I can consume from the robot. Again, this is an example of Kapow interacting with a REST service. In general, Kapow's technologies can interact with any web interface as well. In this way, if there are no APIs that exist, Kapow can also allow you to interact with the web interfaces of these various systems. Robots themselves can also take any number of inputs that you specify, any number of input parameters, and then put destination data, if there is any, into multiple destinations such as databases, flat files, into FTP sites. These robots themselves can be consumed as REST web services in real time. Robots themselves can be called in real time as functions in Java or in .NET. And robots themselves also can be scheduled to run in batch mode through Kapow Software's management console. So getting to the results of the demo itself, if I go to a web browser where I have Salesforce Chatter, what I've done in Chatter is allowed me to use a hashtag that I call G+. I can then specify... Uh, one or more circles in Google Plus. Circles in Google Plus are groups of people. I can specify one or more here in a comma delimited fashion. I'm just going to specify one for now. And then I'm going to create a post text. So here's a sample piece of text that I'm posting. So when I hit the share button, what's going on is behind the scenes, a trigger is being executed in Chatter. And that trigger is calling one of these Kapow robots as a REST service. It's consuming that Kapow REST service out in the cloud. And then if we switch over to Google Plus in the browser, if I refresh my Kapow circle, you see in real time the piece of text that I entered into Chatter appearing into Google Plus. It's really that easy to do in a robot, essentially to just create a workflow that's going to create this post in Google Plus. And again, impressively, there are no APIs to Google Plus. As somebody who's been trained to use the Kapow software, I'm able to create a robot that can do this kind of integration in a matter of you know, 10 or 15 minutes. That's, of course, somebody who has experience. Once you've been trained on the software, one can get up to speed to build robots with that kind of speed. So going the other direction is also fairly straightforward to show. This time I'm going to switch to a different circle within Google+, one that I called Salesforce Chatterstream, that I've created specifically to communicate back with Chatter. So I'm going to post something here that's intended for Chatter. Share that. And then what's going on here is a near real-time integration between Google Plus and Chatter. 
As of the time that this video is being recorded, there are no APIs or no programmatic interfaces that one can use to get this data from Google+. Either they haven't created them or they haven't made them available for the general public. What I used is Kapow Catalyst Design Studio to create a robot to do this task, take this data from Google+, and put it back into Chatter. So that when I switch back to my Chatter stream and hit refresh, you see the post that I've made, just made into Google+, is placed into the chatter stream by our Kapow robot. So now you've seen a, a bi-directional feed. Now if we switch back to Design Studio, in general, these pieces of robot that I've created, for example, where my mouse is moving right now, is a piece of robot that I've created that generically can take some text and put it into a chatter feed using Salesforce's OAuth to get authentication and then their REST APIs to put the data into chatter. So what you can do with Kapow's technology is take these snippets of robot and mix and match them and reuse them in different robots. So I can take this snippet of robot that's intended to do that, use it in another robot uh, for another integration that I may want to do with chatter, whether it be from a data from a database or a flat file or an FTP site or another REST or SOAP call any sort of web application, whether or not they have APIs or not, you can mix and match these snippets of robot to really do a series of integrations to your liking, number one. Number two, you don't have to rewrite your, your robot in order to reuse it or rewrite your robot snippets of uh, logic to reuse them. So that makes Design Studio and the Kapow Catalyst platform tremendously powerful in performing integrations because you really can write these things once, again with no coding, and then reuse them as you want.